Hello everyone, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic, and I have something very special that I've been working on. So, it's called Scrap Industrialis, and I've been working on it for the past couple of months. I mean, I did show a few work in progress clips. Oh my god, shut So the first I'll be showing you is the inside of the mine. Let's just take the duck in. So, this duck is actually a pusher inside the mines, and as it tips over... So we have shaft 1. There's an elevator that leads you to exit shaft 2, and there's shaft 3. Which I don't know what's supposed to be. Like a toxic plant hidden. So, we're in the mines right now, so we have the uh, ore shooter, the collapsed rocks, and the elevator. There's nothing really surprising to the elevator, but I'll show it to, to you guys, anyways. So that's the mining vehicle we will be using. Till I later on give up and just use explosive. Ah, that's right, I forgot to set the speed of the elevator. So, shaft 2. Uh, sort of a malfunction going on. Yeah, that's the elevator. So, I'll be taking this mining vehicle, the, the drill, and just mine it against the rocks. Kind of a little crammed. Of course, the vehicle will be in here, but as long as it fits, it's alright. So this other one is actually for putting the ore into the shoe, but I find this one useless. I build it just to simply pick up the rods and then throw them there, but sometimes the game doesn't like you and just have this ha and piss and freak out, so it's basically just a sitting duck that doesn't do anything. I do have some ore in here. Um, I'll use that later. Okay. Push this cart just, just in case. I was going to have a like push under this shaft but I have to push it push it close because or or like to bounce off and just fly over the place because they're very light pieces. Okay that's already It's mine. Kind of cool how I made this. All right, we are ready. that unfortunately. Supposedly this thing is only meant to break up the big rocks and then I'll just use explosives 
on the smaller rocks. And this is not a great spot for the mining field. Say that's enough because the game is not having it. Oh, all right, it looks like I have to do the boring part. Maybe this so I can just pick up the ore like this. <laughs> but however, all all of this time it doesn't even want to work. So it's just useless. And kinda sucks right now. Did I get one? <gasps> Please. Yes. Got this. Oh, scrap me can moment. So we won. So we have one in here. about right now it was supposed to drop the ore in there but but I don't, I don't really have any use for it so I can just be on the side See, that's enough. Um, learn that. Um, now, should I do that original way or just have the cart that rolls up here? Well, I'm gonna do the reg regular way. What's this supposed to be? Okay, let's say that's like enough for now. So, put down the ramp and just let it come down. Perfect. And so we just throw the ore in here like that.
Oh, that's right. I forgot to turn on the lights for this. There we go. Ready. So now we could fill up the ore cart the cart now. I think we can fill up the other one. Um, the problem is I can't simply just move the car over, so I am going to have to force it or either just work my way around it. As of course a duck car is stuck. I'm gonna force a cart enable the flinch whatever it was to push it it's not working it's not gonna work it's just going to derail the cart the thing causing it okay now I can push that through that means now it's ready now I'll push that other car back
got one more. Put that up there. And we got another cart filled, so. What I could do is move that other cart in the front. Just move this up front and just. Here we go. So we're ready for our next round of rods. So. go all of them should be that's it even though there's one up there I don't really care about that it's like it's just all so business so we got the last cart finished so since I can't carry three carts at the same time because this thing is like not strong enough to push stuff up the rails up these so only one one at a time out from the physics. Alright, so first cart.
Okay, so up here is the platform to be for loading on. So, I'm gonna send the first car over here. Um, actually, maybe. Oh no, I'm just gonna leave it. second or car third or car.
other three back. Just because the game doesn't like having too many things nearby each other. Sometimes these cars like to derail when going down, so kind of just better off taking them down here slow. That one has derailed. I also have derailed. Process. Push them. Push them down. all three so next we will drive the crane or, or should I say operate the crane So we're since at the crane. Make sure don't have anything that's destructible. So here we have two thrusters because this these crates are really heavy and they don't and I have the wheels here, but they don't even do anything when they're on a curation, on a curation. So unfortunately I have to have those thrusters there. We have the rope up here, which is stuck. A little jiggle, and it's all fine. Plates, and lower it. Raise that one, and throw the crate under here. Okay, so we are ready to load up two of two of the ore cards or three of the ore cards okay I actually never do the first person perspective while driving those. 
gonna do that next. Oh, this is when the game doesn't like it. I have to get out just and just carefully. Okay, and grab that. ready and what's wrong with this why is that one lower hmm. oh it's because I ever had that bug where that piston piston got stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix it. Okay, now that cart's done. Now what I could do is not turn that to the cart. Unfortunately, I Whoa. Oh, I got refix it. Okay, now that's fixed. Had back. Had to head back to get the other crate.
Damn it. There's a, some type of bug with the crate where it can just pull down the orb, but it's not doing that. So I'm going to have to do normal. After the game doesn't like this. Okay, that's all. So, it's so bad. Okay, now it's back to normal. <laughs> For some reason it wants to go left. I don't want that. Why is it going left? Go right. Please go right. And we got a full train. Since I have no refinery yet, so I'm just parking them in siding. So I'm thinking of doing a refinery over the giant ocean, which surrounds uh, the island, the giant island, and the creative world. There we have it. So, next giant episode will be the refinery. Or should I say medium? Because I don't have to do all this work, I think, for a refinery. Right? Yeah, maybe not. But maybe the bridge would be the big one. done all the work, I will show you all the current locations I have. So I have a plan of building a giant bridge across this ocean. I don't know if I will ever make it because it looks so it's so huge. It's gonna be so huge. I don't know if the game's gonna ever like this. So let's see. I'm probably not gonna have boats anyway in the game, or maybe it's not really a death. Yeah.
Okay, so back here is just all the abandoned projects. This was supposed to be like a bigger version of the ore cart, but getting this out of the mine was too heavy, so here it is useless. Here's actually the, the first version of the duck pusher. It looks so bad. Very slow. Even tips win if you put it on tr train mode. It doesn't even look good, so. This was worth to scrap. Put it back, so you, hope, hopefully I never see it again. Which I will always see. We're designed for a, like a water plant filtration. And then maybe like a lumber, like a sawmill over here. Maybe some farming setup. And then this is actually a house that um, I had for about a couple of years. This is just a remake, re remastered version. Um, the original was actually like in the mountain of the game before the survival, the survival update. And actually, no, it was long before because the house was actually created when pistons were released. And ever since I'm not joining that world, has been like corrupted. So first time was the first time the house was corrupted inside the mountain. So I cannot get it free. So years pass, and it's for some reason, for some reason, just floating in the middle of the sky. So I had to take it off out of the sky and just save it to my to my bl blueprints let's see the houses through there yeah 2018 old house so this is where the mountain would come up it's like that ramp section of the terrain and pretty much this bottom half of the house is actually just under bad house it really doesn't it doesn't even look good so good thing I've remastered it the gate the garage everything looks more simple bedroom bathroom and living room I don't really need a big house in this creative map, so I kind of like this. This is just the um, saw, saw truck. They got trees. That's really it. Although I do have the suspension on it, weird. And lastly, the um. Third size tracks. So I don't know what am I going to do here. I was think of like a shed house somewhere over here, but all this land here is not perfectly flat, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Might have some find some other place to do it. Set up crossings here. Okay, so 
I was thinking of another, make a connection with the farm over here. Um, there's other road crossing. And then back to the house. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this entire episode. Up here is actually the location for the 2018 house. But since I can't fit the 2018 house up here because it'll be a little too annoying. Why is this always open? It should be like closed. Why is it like that? Always opens green. Okay, so and here's three original things I have. So this is the diesel from 2018, the first ever thing I ever created for for scrap mechanic on rail. Looks very tiny. Doesn't even look good. Doesn't even look good to be honest, so... Kinda just... I mean, it's for nostalgia, but I just, I just don't... Really want to show this. Yes, the old coupling system I did. This doesn't really work out well. That's actually the original coupling system I had. And this flat car actually never did anything because going downhill was actually was a little bit crappy because this thing was too light. So yeah, that's really it for here.